feel like I should have sunglasses for this, but I left mine at home. Yeah! Oh man, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this unboxing since it was announced. Stay there. Okay, you're good. Guys, welcome back to Pro Wrestling Tees Network on YouTube. I am your host, Big C Chris Castro. I just got done doing one of my shows and whatnot. Make sure to go follow us and whatnot. PWTLive.com. Early plug. This is a pro wrestling crate. Black and white crate. Let's go. You can't legally say that other one. But this is what we have to make do with. Let's get it, Andrew. Toss is too sweet, by the way. I'm going to say too sweet so many times. Really. I'm not. All right, guys. I have not seen what's in this crate this month. I'm excited that I didn't get to see a single thing. I'm not spoiled with anything. Like, I'm trying to think if I have it. And I have it. All right? But I kind of have an idea who's in here. So let's get this unboxing going. I'll read that later. We do not want to look at the menu because I wouldn't be genuinely surprised with this first shirt and all the items in here and... Oh my God. An outsider shirt. In black and white on a... These shirts are going to be on Tooltex. Did I pronounce it Tooltex? It's a soft style shirt. It's black and white. It's the freaking outsiders. Kevin Nash and rest his soul, Scott Hall. I freaking love that touch, all right? And I love Kevin Nash's power mount. Seriously, I use the jackknife when I can in my repertoire. And seriously, the jackknife power bomb and the razor's edge, AKA the outsider's edge, I freaking use them. And they were my favorite power bomb variants ever since I was a kid. This is awesome. What size is this? I'm about to snag myself a shirt. Talk about the parody of it. Oh, Vinny? Or what it is. Have you ever seen the movie The Outsiders? No. Oh my god. I don't watch a lot of movies. So with Tom Cruise and Ralph Macchio. Tom uh, Cruise, the uh, Top Gun Tom Cruise? Yeah. I don't support him. Uh, Emilio Estevez. Oh, Emilio! Yeah. C. Thomas Howell, Matt Dillon. Sorry. Oh, Rob Lowe and Patrick Swayze. Ooh, Patrick Swayze, huh? I'll, I'll watch it. Is it. If it's on Netflix or Hulu, I'll find it. What we got next? Yes, dude. Yes! This, this, this box is going to make me sad. Seriously. Rest his soul as well. Macho Man Randy Savage. The madness is running through you. Ooh, yeah! Former WCW World Heavyweight Champion. So many championships under his belt, but that's one of the main ones coming from this era. Awesome. Sorry guys, two black shirts in this crate, but hey, it's the black and white crate. So I hope you guys don't mind. This, this is going to be an awesome crate. I'm already loving it. Two shirts in. What was your favorite Macho Man match back in WCW? Honestly, it was probably when he faced Diamond Dallas Page. Such a great match. Six. A six, AKA six Pac. Formerly known as X Pac, Sean Wellman, you know who he is. In this case, this is six. This was the logo of his WCW shirt. It was the six billiard ball. These, dude, that is a that's a good sticker. Put this as, as a bumper sticker. Put this on your laptop, on your binders at school. Kids, ask your parents permission first. I'd be surprised if you know who six is. More power to you, kid. But that's your six sticker right there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Headlock Comic presents Big Papa Pump a pinup gallery, dude. Big Papa Pump, head, Big Papa Pump, Headlock Comics. Scott Steiner, oh my God, it was a freaking lunatic back in the day. Huh? Huh? Fat! I got. But there you go, guys. Well, we don't want to show up these guys. Can we just? There we go. That's the Scott Center we love, and that's the only Steiner we love. Uh, that being said, awesome. That, that art though, that freaking art right there, such a good comic book. Read that in the toilet. You're on your plane ride home, on the car, not driving. Read that. We got ourselves a flag. I'm seeing the good stuff, man. We got ourselves a flag. What, Andrew, what do we got? Because this is this text is looking familiar. 
Is this us? We have <laughs> our own Pro Wrestling Tees parody flag. Look at that. PWT for life. Unless you get fired. Maybe us. Maybe after uh, after this is said and done, maybe we'll hang this up in our rafters. We have a couple flags up in our rafters. Our rafters uh, can't talk. We have a couple flags in our rafters in the printing shop. Uh, I say we put this up. But guys, if you wrap this, you wrap us, and we appreciate you. Should we appreciate you watching the video and getting these crates? Thank you so much. But that is your Pro Wrestling Tees black and white flag. We're going for the pin. Now, for why what, what I was told. We don't have a chase pin. Not for the fact that we actually didn't print a chase pin, because they didn't save us one. Way to go, Jeremy. Stupid Jeremy. That being said, our cha our pin is the, the man himself, Eric Bischoff. There is a picture of the chase pin, and you guys are gonna see it like right here. Andrew told me to point somewhere. Right there, right there. You see that? That's your chase pin. This is your normal pin. And Eric Bischoff, great podcast from what I was told. Got an awesome book, I believe. Uh, I've met him once. Very, very humble and kind human being. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this guy is karate. Black ball and karate, I believe. That's your Eric Bischoff pin and the chase that was right here. Way to go, Jeremy. All right. Wow. Like, these are honest reactions, guys. We have the Scott Hall denim. WCW debut micro brawler. When he came down from the crowd, got into the ring, and I hope I get this quote right. You know who I am, but you don't know why I'm here. If I had a toothpick, like I am so stoked about this crate. Like this is so cool. But hey, guess what? We have a chase. The chase is gray denim. That's cool. The Canadian tuxedo in a sense. But shoot, dude. This guy makes Canadian tuxedos look amazing. You have your blue denim, your gray denim. That is your chase, which actually kind of matches the sticker. And that's your base. Amazing. Those are your Scott Hall micro -brothers. And our last item of the agenda, guys, are 8x10. And it is... Well, I have to kind of say it now, because the man himself makes games as much. NWO's Marcus Buff Bagwell. He's the stuff, and the ladies can't get enough. Okay. Uh, guys, alright, that was your black and white crate. We should have done the boxes of black and white colors. But I know we like to rotate the colors. It would be awesome we have the black and white crates here. But hey, that's it, guys. Guys, if you like this, make sure to follow us here at Pro Wrestling Tees Network on YouTube. Follow us all on our social medias, all popping up here. If you like me, follow me on my social medias, all there. Uh, yes, yeah. thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting me. Check us out at pwtlive.com where we do live auctions pretty much four to five days a week. Sometimes we'll do like two or three just to give ourselves some day off. But hey, we're constantly busy. We're constantly making content and making great products for you guys. I appreciate you guys. Guys, go to ProWrestlingCrate.com to check when is the next availability to sign up for Crate. Also, if you're interested in more Crate action, go to AllEcrate.com to check out when that availability will be up. <laughs> I got that time. Don't edit that out. All right, guys. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm going to go probably take all these stuff, all these things, all the stuff and things for myself because this Crate's awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, that is a nice good to Andrew. Oh.